You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to episode 19 of the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're going to be talking about uh, the actually not that bad buildup of Survivor Series. Yeah, it's uh, one of the few pay-per-views in recent times that I'm actually looking forward to. I mean, even more so before everything that happened Mm -hmm. over the week. Well, it's funny because it's a pay-per-view that means nothing. It's the only time of year when <laughs> Raw and SmackDown goes head to head. Did you see Ro- Ross put yep. on it? Yeah, that was good. Just one. <laughs> but yeah, it, the the pay per view doesn't mean anything except for I guess to stroke Shane and Stephanie's egos, yeah. bragging rights. Um, and yet they're actually trying to make it seem like something, which is weird. Although I must say, uh-huh. you know how like. Most of the time, telling a story in a slow-paced manner, very mm-hmm. detailed, is usually to the benefit of a story. For the most part. Never happens with the WWE. So no. they lucked out that they did Crown Jewel like two weeks before Yeah, I mean, this Survivor was Series. jam-packed. Yep. It was like flip of the lights, yep. which we're changing over, Survivor Series. Mm-hmm. Who cares about that place, which we never mentioned. Yeah. And things like that. So basically speaking, they should probably just do that from now on. You want more content? No. What they should do is they should have a pay per view, mm-hmm. and then have two weeks of completely Throw shit at the wall and no, no, just have matches that don't necessarily mean anything, like wrestling supposed to be. I mean, to an extent, but wrestling is not meant to be. I I know that that's what Vince has driven. As well, like the stories and like the feuds. so you're saying it should just be like an independent show where it should just be matches. Yes, and then and then you can and build then from Leo there. Rush out there going Lashley. <laughs> well, he Lash. doesn't add anything anyway. So, but if you do that, you can find out who has chemistry in a match that normally you wouldn't see. And this way, when you're leading up to a pay per view, mm-hmm. there's more weight to what's going on because you haven't seen it over and over again. That's true. And the, and you know you're not burnt out from like, seeing Finn Balor versus Bobby Lashley. Every yeah, week. exactly. <laughs> so if they do something like that, and like like I said, it gives you matches you wouldn't normally see. It there's no burnout and there's no. Um, well, repetition, burnout, kind yeah. of same. They should just have tournaments every month. Who's going to get fed to Brock Lesnar? That, that could be something. <laughs> or who's going to die like it's, the Singh it's, brothers? It's the Feed the Beast tournament. Oh, my God. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, <laughs> Raw in a nutshell was crap and great. Well, yeah, there was... Uh, I had Because I, I, I didn't catch it live. You didn't catch either show live. No. Mitch, mixed well, match challenge you did. I did. <laughs> Funny enough. Uh, SmackDown doesn't matter, obviously. But not a lot of wrestling happened on Raw or oh. on SmackDown. Well, you but. mean because the whole re- the whole show is on Hulu? You said it didn't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah for yeah, SmackDown. Yeah. Um, because I mean Raw they cut out the crap, but when it's usually a lot of crap, mm-hmm. it doesn't help. But what they I think they cut out the uh, the actual battle royal. The yes, the actual battle royal. Uh, you got Ember the... versus Tamina. Yeah, you which, said that happened. Yeah, oh, it happened. Tamina is not great in the she ring. Never was. So no, I, she, I she's she's a brute. That's really what it is. Yeah, but I mean, like she hit the splash for, to get the win over Ember, uh, and it just it was poor. It was poor. I believe you. Yeah, yeah. Um, what else was not? I don't know. You tag team battle royal. You saw the Dean and Seth thing. Mm-hmm. And saw Jinder and Lesnar. And all the women, or besides, actually, I was going to say all the women segments were on there except for... Yeah. Oh, and they mentioned that they named Natalia one of the members of... Yeah, Alexa that, Bliss said that at the end of the show. I thought it, they said it was announced earlier. Oh, maybe. Okay, so no. I didn't. wasn't the only one who missed it? Okay. Maybe it was like a, like a before the show kind of thing. Sure. Because I figured it happened we in like a We feel backs- bad because Ruby... Oh, wait, the... Was that on there, the Ruby Riot promo and stuff? Didn't, no. Did she wrestle earlier on? I think she might have. I don't know. Yeah, because it was a because Ruby cut a promo. Maybe on Ruby Natalia's faced Natalia and Natalia won. Yeah, maybe that. Yeah, I think the... that was it. Oh, no, no, they just fought. They okay. just brawled, I think. Okay. Again, it was like that whole thing was so stupid, yet they could have at least done something with it. 
like the whole sunglasses thing. Oh, when the match just ended. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, that was that. <laughs> but I mean, like, we got five minutes of a natty in the back wearing her sunglasses, and then nothing. All of a sudden, that happened, and then this, it had to drag into this week, and it's yep. like nothing came. Mm-hmm. Uh, and now they're teammates on the. Women yeah, Survivor Series. Well, they always do I, that with people who aren't necessarily getting along. Yeah. All right, so so what should we talk about first here? There was a couple of things that I want to touch on. Well, about Raw. the most important thing that probably happened in the entire show was... Um, the end? Well, well, that's not necessarily important. That was the most exciting thing. Okay, that's fair. The most impactful thing is what happened at the beginning. With Bra- Braun oh, Strowman. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, first of all, the show opens with a battle royal that consisted of literally all the tag teams. <sighs> Jesus. So, I guess they were just trying to figure out which of the losers was the least of loser e. <laughs> which is going to lead the losers to my f- losing. <laughs> my favorite part of it, of it is the fact that they had to take a team from 205 Live. To fill Raw. And all three of them were in the Battle Royal. That doesn't matter. <laughs> that that part is irrelevant. So, so they think that three cruiserweights equal two regular I, roster I guess members. So. That is sense. what we got of it. Maybe there's a minimum weight that you need to get to in order to be considered a tag team. <laughs> Maybe. Anyway, um, so like five minutes in into the Battle Royal. I don't even think it was that much. Braun comes out. I didn't starts, even... I, thought it just started and all of a sudden I think came out. I think there was a couple of min- eliminations I before. I don't remember. I really yeah. wasn't paying attention. So Braun comes out, beats up everybody, and then he grabs the mic and says he's not leaving until he gets his hands on Baron Corbin. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Stephanie comes out because why not? Um, and she says that uh, you need to be a team player. Mm-hmm. And then she says if, if we win at Survivor Series, you can have whatever you want. Right. Which is very strange. Mm-hmm. Like, why would you give that to him? Anyway, Braun says that he wants another shot at Brock Lesnar mm. and to face Baron Corbin. Right. Tonight, right? No, he said he just wants Corbin. He just wants him. Any um, kind of match, right? Well, what? he said he gets to pick the stipulations. Oh, yeah, so it's going to be a TLC match, Which is right? fine. But stipulations, yeah. meaning he can pick the stipulation for his title match, too. Oh, right, right, right. So we'll see exactly how that plays out mm-hmm. you're right about it's going to be a tlc match with corbin probably brock's not going to defend that title to maybe the rumble i would imagine that's when yeah because it kind of um kind of plays into what's been going on with the uh mix match challenge a little bit yes which was interesting <laughs> um but now we things have changed up a little bit i guess mm-hmm. i don't know if that was planned for AJ not to participate? I don't know. We'll, we'll get to that yeah. when we get to that. But now, since Jeff replaced AJ in the match... I think just it was just it, for the match. It was just for the match? I it's think, not going forward? I think that's what they said. I don't know. I didn't get to watch it. Yeah, but I think it, that was kind of what they suggested. Right. Nothing's guaranteed. Yeah. Um, uh, I guess the only other replacement was when Owens got replaced. Oh, no, and no. Alexa. And Mickey replaced Mickey. Sasha. Oh, yeah, that's right. Ember replaced Alexa. Yeah. Um, everybody's getting hurt it's true um two of the most popular women superstars are both out with concussion problems yeah so anyway um yeah so yeah basically corbin uh no, corbin um braun says that he'll he'll make sure that they win and he wants those things yeah um and he corbin i guess came out sometime yeah during this and then, yeah, yeah right, because uh, Braun oh, said he yeah. was going to neuter him. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, well, also Ronda Rousey came out. Mm-hmm. And she threw Corbin on the ground. Yeah, because he interrupted her. Yes. Um, yeah, Ronda Rousey came out basically to just kind of suck up the Stephanie kind of without actually yes. doing it. Yeah. It's like, don't worry, I'm going to take, I'm going to win for the team. Yeah. And then oh. she kind of made it almost like uh, insinuating that she was going to attack Stephanie because she said, or oh, I'll do it right now or something like yeah. that. Anyway. And then that's when she threw Corbin on mm-hmm. the ground. Yep. Oh. And uh, yeah, her so, yeah. promo, her interview was really bad later on. I love how she, well, she did what we were talking about weeks ago when millennials call other millennials a oh. millennial. Yeah. <laughs> Which actually, Becky's, I think, a couple days older than her. They're both born in 87. Really? Yeah. That's funny. It's just so stupid. But that's got 
creative written all over. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there's no legitimacy oh, yeah. to People that. People always talk bad about millennials. Let's let's go with that angle. Yep, yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, and then I don't know if this is actually what happened next, but. Corey Graves interviews well, we don't Seth need Rollins. To, this is, who cares about this? Well, you don't like that Dean Oh, this set, is Dean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And his uh, fucking Grand Prix. Yeah. Seth, Grand Am, whatever it was. Yeah. Seth says that he doesn't care about Shinsuke. He's got he's got that on lock. He <laughs> He's more interested in Dean Ambrose, who's not right. having a match at Survivor Series. Yeah. Oh, my God. He's so costing Seth. Well, yeah. Match. But anyway. So then that Dean pops up on the screen. He's like, no one deserves an explanation for mm-hmm. what I did. And then he said that this the shield didn't make me stronger; it made me weaker. But it's what I didn't understand. He should have just pointed at the simple fact that oh, when I was on SmackDown, I was WWE champion. It's true. <laughs> that that would make sense. I came over to that Raw, was it, you know? and here I am. I've been floundering, teaming with you losers. Yeah, I gotta protect you guys. Although he has two tag team championships, and... hmm. but that's another IC title run. I think didn't he steal it from the Miz when they came over? Weren't they no, feuding I think back he, on they him? were feuding. No. He lost it because he came over as the oh, IC that's champion. that's right, right. But, uh... Yep, and then he burned his swap vest. Yes. And that was that. Yeah, that was, that was it. Yeah. Um, uh, Dolph versus... Uh, Balor. Balor. Mm-hmm. That was a decent match. Yeah. Not a surprise. Balor won with yep. a roll-up. Yeah. Um, yeah. They, they really are trying to make Drew look legitimate, which is good. Mm-hmm. Um, between what happened last week with uh, him beating up Angle, yep, um, the, and uh, he's just the impact gotta... Angle from uh, you know they got so much stuff coming from uh, from the old Impact slash TNA. Yep, um, it's pretty funny. But yeah, he, he they're just making him seem like an actual legitimate tough guy. Yeah, um, doing a decent job. Mm-hmm. I mean, he looks the part. It's true. And then uh, after this match, Stephanie's impressed with Balor, puts him on Team Raw. Yes, yes. So I think that finalized Team Raw? I think so. There was it... one open spot, right? Oh, yeah, there was one more open yeah, spot. Yeah, yeah, because then we have Lashley versus uh, Elias. Elias, yeah. Which obviously we Lashley gotta... was going to win. <laughs> Somebody posted a meme online. It was, uh, you remember that Pokemon episode where Squirtle gets the glasses, yeah. the sunglasses? That's what they compared with Bobby Lashley. It was so funny. Yeah, it's, uh, it was one of those things where, like, you saw it and you couldn't unsee like, yep, it. Yep. Yep. So Team Raw consists of Bobby Lashley, Finn Balor, Braun Strowman, um, Drew McIntyre, and Dolph, Dolph Ziggler. Ziggler. Yep. So, um, yep. Uh, definitely an intimidating and, uh, yeah. A, a good strong team mm-hmm. for for the most part i would say so um and then oh we, yeah well we could talk about the lesnar and Heyman stuff that, that was pretty funny i got i got a kick out of that what that uh, lesnar thinks that Heyman should listen to <laughs> it's so funny. gender's uh mantra yeah he's like yeah you should listen you're jewish <laughs> Which makes no sense. No, absolutely not. But, you know, when Lesnar was on the mic years ago, he was hilarious. So yeah, I guess that's true. At least true. a little bit there. But I was like, so, I was because we finally got Jinder and Lesnar in the ring together. It was supposed to happen at last Survivor year. Series last year. Uh-huh. That would have broke the internet. Everyone would have been so mad when Jinder hit Lesnar with that Coloss and won. <laughs> that would have been something. Uh, oh, my God. Lesnar killed both Singh brothers. <laughs> oh, yeah, he did. Like, right on their heads. Yep. And that is exactly what's going to happen to Daniel Bryan on Sunday. That's definitely possible. <laughs> so, over, under, kicks to the groin or uh, German suplexes on Daniel Bryan's head? Wait, what? So, so which is which is going to have more? Oh. Um, groin, groin kicks or uh, German suplexes where Daniel Bryan looks like so he's concussed not just regular german suplexes no, the, no, the, the ones, ones where it looks yeah. like he actually yeah. ends on his yeah. head um probably that one that would be my guess he's gonna die i would <laughs> i would <laughs> i would imagine that that daniel bryan is probably not gonna he might kick him in the groin i don't know uh, <laughs> whatever it doesn't matter um yeah, yeah, that 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 happened. Mm. I mean, maybe, maybe we're gonna get Jinder and Brock down the line now, planting the seeds for no. it to happen. Yeah, because that's happen. gonna be one of the other <laughs> matches that he does. Uh, uh, <clears throat> all right, then we had Lashley versus Elias. Mm. Oh my God, Elias! It was fantastic. 
You can't even deny how funny it was. I didn't watch it. I skipped what do you it. mean you didn't I watch it. it? I wasn't. I was tired. All right, it's so, getting late. <laughs> obviously, Lashley and Leo Rush are in the ring, mm-hmm. and uh, he's doing his thing where Bobby's, you know, showcasing, Lashley, showboating for the, the audience, you know, Lashley. bending over and whatnot. So <laughs> Elias comes out and he takes his cell phone out and he goes, "Hi, Child Protective Services." <laughs> Yeah, this is Elias. I have a small child with Bobby Lashley. He kidnapped them a few weeks ago. He's bent over in the ring. He's making him point at his abs and stuff like that. I'll have to play the clip for you later. That's but a- all it made me think of was that Family Guy skit where he's like, all right, kids, now I want you to yell real loud into my ass when he was bent over. <laughs> and we never went to that bike store again or whatever. The, whatever oh, yeah, it was. there was like the different, not the different. Yeah, 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 I know what you're talking about. It's yeah. a TV show. Yeah, yeah, the one from the 80s with uh, Gary Coleman. Is that his name? The little yeah. black guy? yeah, yeah. 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 No, you're right. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember what show it was, but yeah. yeah, yeah, that's what it was from. <laughs> so it was hilarious. It was, it was good. Yeah. It, it I mean, uh, and then, uh, the, I mean, the crowd started a walk with Elias Chan. No, wow. not no, just out of nowhere. As soon as he walked out. Well, that's the thing because. But I mean, let's... everyone hates Bobby Lashley, mm-hmm. and everybody likes Elias. So obviously, they're gonna disapprove Lashley. So they'll chant for Elias, basically. Man, you just, you just no, can't let no, him get over. No, I'm, I'm you you not, can't I'm not, let him get I'm over. I'm not disagreeing. Why do you hate him so much? <laughs> I'm not disagreeing. Elias is entertaining, but I just I don't like him. There's a difference. I can appreciate him. because he looks like a homeless man. Kind of. Yeah, that's that's not feet, really why. Son of a bitch. Anyway, he, he is entertaining, <laughs> I must say. But the reason why I skipped it was because... Um, Lashley and uh, Lula Rush came out first, and yeah. I knew who won because mm. I was spoiled earlier uh, before I started watching it. <laughs> when you watched the last show yes. first, yes, you went into Muslim mode. I kind of. <laughs> so, but yeah, that's that's why I skipped it because I knew he won. So, like, eh, screw fair it. enough, fair enough. <laughs> screw it. Yeah. Um, and then, well, yeah, I mean, they, they they did a good job though with the victory. I don't you know, know how well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. See. Um, Elias was outside the ring, uh, Lashley was in the ring, Leo Rush was underneath the ring, grabbed Elias' leg so he couldn't get back in, and he got counted out. He pour- pulled the hornswoggle? Pretty much. Or a king? Mm-hmm. Only during the Royal Rumble. No, he's done it other times, I think. Yes, probably. Yeah. I don't remember. Um. And then, obviously, we had the women's Royal Rumble, of uh, Royal Rumble, Survivor Series team. Getting a little ahead of ourselves. Yeah. So uh, Alexa comes out and announces her team. Mm -hmm. It's going to be Mickey, Tamina, Nia Jax, and then I guess they announced at some point that Natalia was also going to be on. Yes, yes. She said, "Oh, Natalia went home because of what happened, so she's going to, you know, uh, re-focus her energy to Sunday, yeah, whatever nonsense." And then they said they're going to have a match to determine who the um, fifth member is, and something about. They'll have to like uh, about facing friends, so obviously yeah, yeah, be Sasha Bailey and Bailey. Sasha, right, right, right. Um, so the match goes on for a little bit. Mm-hmm. Sasha, I think, has Bailey in the bank statement, and then they, so. in- then Tamina, Naya, and um, Mickey will attack them. Yep. So Alexa goes, "Oh, I guess no one wins." <laughs> And is that when we went back to stage? No, no. She said no one wins, and then it's going to be Ruby Oh, Ruby, Riot. right, right. She did Riot announce. Squad comes out there in the ring. Mm-hmm. Then it cuts backstage to have um, show Becky giving or putting uh, Ronda in the disarmor. Mm-hmm. And uh, for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a good little bit. And then uh, it cuts to the ring, and Becky's walking down. The seven, I think, of them in the ring look all scared. Yeah, something like that. Um, and then, or, well, they looked scared, but there was like seven on one. I was like, yeah, come on, bring it, just bring it. So Becky's like, I'm on Raw, this is my show now, and then the entire SmackDown. She should have told Drew McIntyre that, because he pretty much proclaimed it his his show. Yeah, so the entire SmackDown women's roster comes out from the crowd, beats up everybody. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, Becky up. Punch in the face. She got Naya, shoot. Naya Jax. She got shoot punched oh, real yeah. bad. I don't know, man. It was it's it's weird. What? Like I mean, it didn't even look like she was trying to tr- miss. Yeah, I mean, it no, just... that was that was either uh, her not realizing how close 
she really was to her or her actually trying to punch her in the face. It's the only two options. Yeah. Somebody on Reddit had posted a whole uh, conspiracy theory about the whole thing where Naya was meant to injure Becky because they knew they were booking themselves in a corner with Ronda getting so heavily booed and everything like that. That is stupid. It's always possible. (laughs) I know. That's why I don't like it. So Becky, like, because when this happens, it's not shown. They're like cut Mm -hmm. out. It was in the back corner. Yeah. Yeah. Um, So we had stuff going on the outside. All of a sudden, it's back into the ring. Becky's face covered in blood. Arms and blood and hands. Um, so, how terrible were those camera angles? Because it was like jump, 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 well, jump. Yeah, like, well, it was meant to stop. indicate a lot of stuff. Yeah, I know. On. It's just so bad. So, Ronda music hit, and it's got a pan on the the center of the ring. Mm. They show Becky run away, essentially. Mm-hmm. Like, where's she going? And apparently, she went to the the ring. Not medical attention, mind no, you. No, well, she did. Well, she got oh, cleaned she, up. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even think she did. Yeah. I thought, oh, her face was like was, covered. Oh, I I just saw the the hands and yeah, stuff they, like that. They clean they cleaned her uh, her face up. Like they probably put something a little well, bit. I think on Alicia it. Fox's hair cleaned up some of it as well. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> right. She was there too. Yeah. She was probably the seventh mm-hmm. person. But yeah, when she hit Ronda with the chair, like blood, you, it was just on Ronda at yeah. that point, mm-hmm. and I was just mm-hmm. like, oh man. Yeah. Because, I mean, you figured at that point it was her nose. Like, it was just uh, broken. It, and just, Well, Corey Graves but, said she yeah. might have a broken right. nose. yeah. And then on SmackDown last night, you saw it, and it was just well, yeah, right around was her eye. It bruised all mm-hmm. the way over here. But, um, but yeah, the, they lay waste to, the, to all of the raw people, and then they leave through the crowd. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, and Ronda gets beat up with the chair. Yeah. Well, she was selling the arm from mm-hmm. the disarmor earlier. Yep. So... And this is the point I was going to bring up earlier. Mm-hmm. As long as there's no long term like medical issues, like with the the concussion and everything, yeah. Nia Jax probably like a million times made Becky more of a badass. oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah. So even if it was an accident, and yeah. if she's fine, <laughs> you just gotta this, run with it. Yeah, I mean, this is like, I mean, not completely like but like an impact when sammy callahan accidentally hit eddie edwards in the fucking eye with a baseball bat and that probably they didn't end well. just ran with it mm-hmm. they ran with the angle and it caught fire and that, that's what you kind of got to do with these things yeah the show must go on you, you just kind of take what you're given it's true you got to work it in somehow yeah so uh so becky now looks even more uh intimidating mm-hmm. than ever yeah as, it was just a fantastic she... way to close mm-hmm. raw with her just covered in blood yeah even even without it, it made her look really oh, yeah, good. Yeah, absolutely. But that, she led the charge. There was no mm-hmm. men this time involved. Nope. It was just the women they, invading, and it made sense because she's been doing the most work on on Twitter, calling Ronda out, mm-hmm. even calling Seth out at one point, just because he calls himself the man. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, they did a really good job with it, and you know, you gotta you gotta play the hot hand. That's really what WWE needs to learn. It's true. They certainly don't do it normally. Though. No, 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 no. Um. But that was a great way to end the show. Yeah, oh, it definitely. Work? Doesn't like you. Apparently not. Um, there we go. Yeah, SmackDown was uh, decent as well. Yeah. Um, it opened. Well, first they recapped what happened. No, obviously. Before. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you what. That video package that they showed at the beginning of the mm-hmm. show was a great way to present it. Oh yeah, yeah. Because I went back and watched the YouTube clip mm-hmm. of the thing from the well, Raw. They didn't put it black and white. They no. did. Did, did they on SmackDown? No, not on SmackDown. No, on SmackDown. They SmackDown on the YouTube. Dope. Yeah, yeah. No, I know. But like that was really weird. Yeah. I'm like, I know why they're doing yeah. it, but it like five or six million hits last night. Mm-hmm. It was, um, it was good. Yeah. Like I said, they did a very good job presenting it. They showed the clip of Nia Jax, mm-hmm. um, actually punching her right in the face. Yeah. Um, and then AJ comes out. Yes. Um, and says that he's not afraid of Brock Lesnar. Mm-hmm. Usual yep. nonsense. He knows, he knows how to take down the beast. Right. Then the walrus showed up. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Uh, he came from the crowd. Yeah, and obviously, you know, belittled AJ. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Said that he was second best to Daniel Bryan. Mm-hmm. And at this point, I knew exactly what was going to happen. Yeah, it, it, the writing was on the wall, yep. that's for sure. Yep. 
Um, it does make sense for them to not want to have any rematches from last it's, it's year. It's true, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we'll, we'll, after we talk about this segment, we'll just get into the match. You mm-hmm. might as well uh, yeah. keep it going. But uh, but Asia's like, oh, I'm better than Daniel yeah, yeah. Bryan. I beat him. I made him tap out. Um, <laughs> and then Daniel Bryan comes out. Mm-hmm. He's like, I said... A few weeks ago that I have nothing but respect for you. But I want to still punch you in the face. Well, he said, he's like, I also (laughs) want to find a reason to punch you in the Mm. face. So uh, if you say my name. One more time. (laughs) It's going to happen. And then AJ did it. And then he punched him in the face. Mm -hmm. They start fighting. Shane came out with the zebras. Yes. John Cohn dressed in a suit. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, Jamie Noble. Who's smaller than both of the small wrestlers? Hey. Um, so they kind of break it up, and then right. it goes to the back, and then it's they're still yelling, still fighting and yelling. Mm-hmm. And then Shane makes the match for later on the night championship match: Daniel Bryan versus yep. AJ Styles. Main event: the show. Yep. And uh, well, Daniel Bryan is the new WWE champion. It happened. It did. He kicked him in the nuts. We're he doing, did. We're doing uh, Shinsuke all over again. Apparently. And my favorite part of this whole thing is that when, we, when we're talking about who is going to be the heel that finally topples AJ Styles. It's Daniel Bryan. Weren't thinking it was going to nope. be Daniel Bryan. Nope. Wasn't, gonna th- wasn't yeah. thinking it was going to be Joe. Right. No. <laughs> wasn't thinking it was going to be Daniel Bryan, though. Um... Yeah, like at first I was just kind of like, oh, I was kind of lame, just because I'm, I'm honestly not a huge Daniel Bryan fan. You know that. Is, I feel like he's think, he's it, Finn Balor without the cool. I guess <laughs> it's kind of you know. Yeah, there's not a whole lot to it. We also not, not really. and we've talked about this before. Yeah. We were not around for the beginning for his of whole the whole thing. Yes, no, I mean I watched him back in Ring of Honor and he's American Dragon. Very thing. very That's, different yeah, times. Fifteen years ago. Yeah. Oh. Um. But, yeah, th- there's not a whole lot of appeal to Daniel Bryan once you take that part away. Right, right. So, Which I guess that's why they needed to go this route mm-hmm. with it. And it makes sense. And, yeah. you know, I was talking about it earlier. I was talking to Christine about it. And we were, just, we were talking about AJ and his reign. And I was like, yeah, he's been champion for a year, but nothing's really wowed me. Mm-hmm. And he's had, you know, he's been in marquee matches against people that were supposed to be, you know, dream matches mm-hmm. in the WWE world. But it was just kind of... A shame. Standard, you know? But to be fair, he is a good person to have as a long-term championship reign. Oh, absolutely. That isn't that inspired. Mm-hmm. Because if it was anybody else, they'd be tired of it. Right, right. Whereas yeah, well, AJ still Because you know cheered. you're going to get a quality match yes. every time the man's in so the ring. Even, even if what we got wasn't what we wanted or expected, it still, still was better than sitting through six months of Jinder Mahal or any amount of time with Randy Orton. <laughs> Oof. Or, um, He's going to cost Team SmackDown the match. Probably, nah. considering he seems to be interested in Ray. And he's going to whip it out. It's possible. <laughs> It'll have a little Rey Mysterio mask on it. <laughs> well, you went there, so uh, I kind of just made it uh, worse. That was great. Yeah. That was perfect. So, uh... <laughs> Well, yeah, Daniel Bryan is now the new WWE champion. Yeah. I was spoiled because at the beginning of the Mixed Match Challenge, they were still showing Daniel Bryan leaving the But, yeah, no, I mean, title. I'm guessing the attack afterward was the reason that AJ was removed from it. I but, guess but so. But when but... AJ had him in the Styles Clash, clash oh, position, the, those, were the those kicks, we were kicks talking? Yeah. It, they looked like they definitely connected. Yeah. And then that's when he went on to the... Uh, the second rope in the corner, and mm. I, I guess he was going to do his moonsault or whatever uh-huh. he was looking for, and he just, like, lost balance. And yeah, you don't see AJ do no. that very often. No. So they had to change it into an electric chair-style move, which turned into a roll-up. But yeah. uh, but it just seemed like he was loopy for a second. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, like I said, it could have just been all coincidental yeah. storyline. And I would imagine but, since they took him had, out of the Mixed Match Challenge, yeah. they probably intended to do that from the beginning. Yeah, and had he actually suffer some sort of injury daniel bryan probably wouldn't have been kicking him in the face on the ground after the yeah, match that's true <laughs> especially daniel bryan of all people yeah gets it you mm-hmm. know um anyway mm-hmm. so uh let's i guess rewind a little bit yeah so andrade 
He's back on SmackDown again, second week in a row, and another yeah. loss, right? Didn't he lose last week? That's what his thing is. He loses. <sighs> I think he already faced R-Truth last week. I guess. I don't know. I Maybe. didn't watch Or does Shinsuke face R-Truth last week? Shinsuke has faced R-Truth in the past. I yeah. don't know about that. I don't remember. <laughs> anyway, Jeff won. Yeah. Uh, Twist of Fate and Swanton Bomb. There you go. Uh, Paige and Miz are backstage after the match. Very <clears throat> impressed with Jeff. Yeah. Because uh, now Miz apparently is the sole captain because Daniel Bryan is no longer, or I guess to get the title shot, he had to forfeit his spot. I, I don't think, think they explained it. I, I think that's what they implied. I, yeah, I think so. But that was just like, okay, it's obviously going to happen yeah, then. But, it, oh, okay. You know what? What? Because uh, later on, they still have one person. Oh, okay. Right, the, right, it's right. It's still a mystery person because mm-hmm. Daniel Bryan's gone. Yeah. Because they added Jeff, but there was still one spot open, mm-hmm. um, right? I thought I thought there was, but I'm not sure. Well, Did you, what is uh, yeah, the Wikipedia right. page? Say? That's right. Team Raw, the Miz, Shane McMahon, Ray Mysterio, Samoa Joe, and Jeff Hardy. Yeah. Oh no, that was five. No, still five. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So my because I, I could have swore I saw yeah, a I graphic did too. with you know, a you're person right. missing. Yeah. I thought uh, that's how it ended the show, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. but it, maybe it was the beginning, and it was Jeff mm-hmm. that was the fifth one. Um, so, uh, because Bray Mysterio was picked by uh, Dan O'Brien, right. Miz is like, Dan O'Brien's gone, so we should get rid of the Bray Mysterio. <laughs> that was his pick, after all. Yeah. All right, so let's just rewind for a second while we were talking about okay so if we have if the miz does win the royal rumble like you said Mm -hmm. do we really want to face miz versus heel daniel bryan i'm okay with it yeah the miz miz is like the biggest tweener now but i I mean as long as they keep him yeah i guess like a tweener i guess that's keep keep him exactly the same yeah you don't need to you don't need to change Mm -hmm. him or you could just have daniel bryan turn mid-championship it's easy enough. So I needed to do it just to get the title. That's yeah. It. Well, not even that. You you have a lot of time. There's still it's like true. five months until <clears throat> WrestleMania. Yeah. Well, I'd assume we'll probably get the rematch at TLC. Yeah, which is, but but that's my point though. Yeah. Um, you oh, have between now and Mania. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you have AJ lose. AJ still a face. You find. Um, but now, do, do we talk about the mixed match challenge thing? What? Where the winner, winning team gets to be number oh. 30 in their respective rumbles. I, I think we said <clears throat> the stipulation. The stipulation yeah. I don't think we oh, said. When they get a vacation, too. Yeah, I don't really get that part. <laughs> you guys can go to wherever we're mm-hmm. taping TV that week. Mm-hmm. Oh, you can go to that place where Crown Jewel was held. <laughs> yeah. The mysterious <laughs> land. Um, but, I mean, that plays a whole new factor in with AJ dropping the title. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Well, because it, it was Monday that they announced it, right? Yeah. And yeah. I said before SmackDown mm-hmm. even happened that yeah. the Miz was going to win the Rumble. Right. I didn't know how Daniel Bryan was going to actually get the title. Apparently, it was a lot easier than they expected it to be. <laughs> they were booking completely different. Yeah. Um, but it I, is weird that AJ is now completely out of Survivor Series, but the guy's been champion for a year mm-hmm. and an actual champion. He's he, been on TV every week, pretty much. Um, if not in on TV, then probably in the dark matches. You know what could happen? Mm. Um maybe something happens between the team and he gets re- he replaces them because mm. that's randy orton takes somebody out <laughs> ray mysterio yeah that makes sense yeah they're not gonna make randy orton part of the team that's not how we reward bad behavior here on smackdown <laughs> <laughs> we settle things in the ring <laughs> back to saudi arabia yep so uh <laughs> anyway uh, they have a Shinsuke interview where the entire time the crowd was just what? saying, what? what? Yeah, like it says on your shirt. Yeah. Although, it's funny because the interview wasn't really that bad. I don't know. I didn't listen. Okay. So, Shinsuke just says So, you that, can't hype this match up to... No, because there was no build to no it. Build. Because Seth, Seth is... Um, no heat. Seth is more interested in what yeah, Dean's doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, Shinsuke goes, uh, uh, Seth broke my heart because he said he didn't care about me or wasn't watching me or whatever. <laughs> and then he said that I've been eating, sleeping, drinking uh, Seth. Seth. Yeah. So, Cannibalism. Yes. But yeah, basically what he's saying is mm-hmm. that he's more prepared because he's been ready for the match or whatever. And then that thing you were talking about earlier on of not getting the same shit, 
Well, we got Ray versus The Miz again. I think this is the third time the match has happened. There's the been last... a lot of rematches lately because of the way that they did the tournament. Yeah. Oh, yeah, exactly. Well, because The Miz fought Jeff in the Mixed Match Challenge, and right. that was one of the, that was the semifinals. Yeah. Yeah, because Miz fought Ray in, like, the week after his re-debut. Because <laughs> mm-hmm. um, he was on Miz TV. Yep. And then at the Crown Jewel, he fought him, right? Mm-hmm. And then here. Yep. So... Yep, yep. but whatever yeah um so yeah ray wins <laughs> yeah obviously <laughs> but i don't know these like like this isn't really an interesting match I, I think i think it was meant to kill time why didn't you just have a uh just put the uh, loser tag teams in some sort of match i think they were trying to or at least the women in some sort of match that that would make more sense <laughs> you, you, this that's been the problem with smackdown lately there's it's, not enough time becky has been the only one choked which obviously she's the one that yeah. should have the focus on yeah, her, i guess but... when when you're only really building one match yeah because yes the women's match is big but it's thrown together but i think that that it's so lopsided on one team for the uh, for the, the women's team yeah that it really doesn't matter if you build it it's true um and raw just needs to fill time that's the only reason why it was really showcased mm-hmm. and they well, made yeah. alexa the captain and right. alexa needs to get tv time that's true um so th- if anything the only reason why it had any time at all was because of the fact that alexa was captain because if alexa was champion it probably wouldn't be that way mm-hmm. so Wow. Um, yeah. Well, I guess uh, then they picked the replacement for Becky at Survivor Series. Yes, because they they announced earlier that she wasn't able to compete. Right. And then Paige brought out the entire women's roster, mm-hmm. I think. Yeah, there was most of Yeah, it was all of them. I, it, I, I think guess. So. Uh, Vega doesn't count, I guess. No, I guess not. But it doesn't matter. No. I don't even know if she's cleared to wrestle, technically. But I guess if she was ringside, she probably is. Who, Vega? Yeah. She got hurt at Evolution. Oh, Remember she did? Remember when she got thrown oh, into Oh, yeah, that's uh, right. Naya? Tamina. No, Tamina, yeah, yeah. yeah. Naya, threw, Naya her threw her into, into Tamina. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess yeah that's that why she sense. wasn't there last week. Uh, um, it makes sense. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, they all come out, um, and then uh, Paige says that she's going to have Becky pick a replacement. All right. Becky goes to each of them. Mm-hmm. And they obviously <laughs> cheer loudest for Asuka. Yeah. Well, Asuka <laughs> was the only one who really reacted. It's true. Because Naomi was just going, oh, you my shirt, you know. <laughs> and Asuka's screaming, I'm ready. Uh, oh, yeah. um, but uh, but yeah, Charlotte gets picked. <clears throat> Becky obviously says, wasn't ready. Yeah. You saw on the Mixed Match Challenge. Well, you know. Well, I mean, to be fair, you couldn't have her lose to, oh, beat Charlotte if Charlotte's going up yeah, against Yeah, it's true. <laughs> um, so uh, anyway. The, anyway. Uh, Becky goes, like I want, I want someone who I can, who I know can do the job, and then Charlotte looks like confused, and then Becky hugs her, and everyone starts cheering. So how do you feel about the hug? I'm fine with it. Yeah, it's mutual respect, and they're real Keep life your friends. friends. Yeah, I was gonna say if anything that wasn't close. planned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they kind of just did it because you know, they and it didn't hurt anything no, by I know. doing just, it. You know, people crying about it as usual no i'm i'm 100 percent okay with it because they were best friends and until i don't know right before their match at evolution charlotte was trying to still knock f- becky out of whatever uh no she, yeah she's trying to get her to change yeah, yeah yeah so this is becky kind of showing that you know she got to her a little bit so, right, right, right. And since she can't do it, she might as well yeah. have the next best mm-hmm. option. So <clears> I'm <throat> completely okay with it. So what they call it? A broken face, right? <laughs> That's what uh, Philip said. He said yeah. a broken face and a, bru- a black black eye or something like that. It's bruised all the way over. Yeah, it was bad. Yeah. Um, But yeah, it was a good segment. Yeah, it was fine. Um, we all so knew it was going to be Charlotte. As Becky goes to leave, everybody except for the Iconics hug... Um charlotte and the two of them i still just, didn't rewatch they're, it they're kind of just sitting there like looking at them and then they they like motion over to like kind of participate and they're like eh. <laughs> like a, like the fakest of uh i guess uh reactions pretty much everybody else out there was a face really right um well 
Carmella is. Naomi. Naomi. Lana is. I guess. Uh, I don't know. Well, Lana, I think, is a tweener. She she goes the way of Rusev. I guess so. Speaking of Rusev, where is he? Yeah. Um, we had Mandy and Sonya were also out there. He's banished to the basement where they found those other tag teams. That's where he is. I guess that makes sense. <clears throat> but uh, I guess Mandy and Sonya really don't have an allegiance right now. Oh, either. yeah, they're heels, yeah. Kind of. Yeah. Like, well, they're technically feuding with each other. I guess, so. yeah. Either way. Yep. Um, Charlotte gets interviewed. She said she's going to win for Becky and SmackDown. Ooh. Um, I know it's not that important. Mm-hmm. But. And then we have... So uh, I wonder wow. if this whole thing is long-term with Becky, you know, because I, I know they did mention concussion. I don't know if it... Oh, if oh she actually mean. has a concussion, but if she's going to end up dropping the title. I would imagine... Have her come back, win that Rumble. Oh, my God. How would she? Oh, I guess she can win. If you don't. You don't win just because you're at thirty. No, well, I would, she's not going to be at thirty. Oh, well, if Charlotte has the title, then she's not going to. Yes, my point was that I was thinking that if she won the mixed match challenge, which oh yeah, 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 that's right. why my point was right, right. Um, <laughs> so, Becky come out at like number one and just last the whole thing. That'd be fine. They almost did it with Sasha last yeah. year. Something like that. You might as well just might as well build it up. Yeah. Um, I, I think, feel um, like I was gonna say I feel like they would have had her vacate the title if they thought it was gonna be long term. Yeah, I guess that is true, but I guess they, maybe they wanted to get over one hurdle first. I guess. Yeah. Because they could have very easily vacated the title and then just had the t- captain of Team SmackDown take That's her place. That's probably what they probably should. You know. Yeah, I guess that would have made sense. Yeah. But so anyway. Anyway. Um, the big bar versus the new day mm-hmm. six man why tag. why am i supposed to care about this you're not okay there's another another <laughs> the of pain weren't even on raw <laughs> no they were not oh man yeah so uh i am interested so, yeah. to see how they book that match the tag match yes because all right so let's 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 look back at this uh-huh so the authors of pain lost to like bobby Roode and yes. uh chad gable Gable, and they lost other matches as Mm -hmm. well they only won the tag titles because they beat someone in a handicap match Mm -hmm. smackdown should go over here yes this is one of the matches where they're going to win there's a lot of i don't know man there's a lot of matches where raw has has a very steep advantage on this pay-per-view um this is going to be one of them that smackdown obviously is going to win in my opinion i don't know that on the fence I guess. Not on the fence post, just on the fence. But, like, because, you know, it's uh, an established... All right, how about we just save that for I know, I'm just saying it's an established team versus a new team. One that hasn't been booked particularly well. All right. And one that has We're just going to leave it at that, all right? Okay. Um, Giving stuff away. They did... (laughs) They They they, went to the basement and found those tag teams that we've never seen, or we haven't seen, like, months... So the club was hanging out down the there. Clones. The clones. And they weren't selling anybody any uh, no. oh, travel packages. Right, exactly. And then Sanity was there, too. Yeah. No. I don't see that. So either. I think that the whole Nikki Cross thing was a one-time deal. It had to be because yeah. she wasn't part of the thing. Oh, the woman's yeah. thing? Yeah. Yeah. So it was probably just because they were over in Europe that they, uh, I guess. they had her there. It was, she is Scottish, I think, right? I think so. So in the basement... They, uh, they, because the Usos do promos like that mm. all the time. It was actually really it was good. good. Yeah, it yeah, was the good. Usos do a good job. They went through all the teams and, like, they talked them up. And then, they, instead of doing the Uso penetrantry, they said the SmackDown penetrantry. It was yeah. good. Yeah, no, they I, did I, a good I, job. Absolutely. They definitely made that segment work, mm-hmm. even though all those teams just. <laughs> uh, yeah, none of those teams seem like. But the funny thing is, it's even on both sides. Uh, oh, actually, they're Raw both is, jokes. Raw is very bad with their yeah. tag teams. Well, they have the B team. <laughs> Um, they the Super have B team, the this. team that loses to cruiserweights. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's it's the B team, the revival, Lucha House Party, and the Ascension. <laughs> so <laughs> it is. And Team SmackDown has the Usos and the New, New Day. Day. No, this is called the We Don't Know How to Book the Tag Teams, so we put them all on Raw. I guess all those tag teams they didn't know don't know how to book. I mean, the B team did were booked particularly well for a short but time but that was only because they were going off the heels of the mistrush yeah yeah so mm-hmm. 
But yeah, it's funny. And it's gonna be on the pre-show, so mm-hmm. neither of us probably gonna end up watching it. So I don't even know if I'm gonna be home for half of the show. Yeah, but well, I, I don't know if I'll be around for it, but I'm definitely gonna probably watch it that night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. So no, a good build for Survivor Series. Yes. Um, Brevity is their. Uh, yeah. Their... Do you know when TLC is? Is that in the beginning of December? Give me a second. Is it gonna load? We'll see. TLC 2018. It's probably that's the one. I would assume so. It's not gonna be on like Christmas, right? Why? Usually it has a date. Like, just click on the Wikipedia page. Schedule sixteenth. Yeah. All right. So almost a month. I'm surprised they're doing it so late into the month. Actually. Yeah. Which is fine. Well, I guess that gives you a couple weeks of crap between New Year's and Christmas and all that well, stuff. Well, yeah, because I was going to say they really don't... Whoa. Really? It's still going. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> um, but, uh, but yeah, I guess it's safer to do it that way. Yeah, probably. Because it's such a long time. You don't want to do it like the first week of December and then go... Uh, yeah, we have two we months do? before the Rumble. Yeah. Because the Rumble is usually at the very mm-hmm. end of January. So. Yeah. But, so uh, yeah, yeah. So um, I guess that was our podcast for this week. It was. Yep. It happened. It, it did. Was a thing. Mm-hmm. We talked about something we're actually kind of interested in. Yeah. Which has been a while. Yeah, I would say so. <laughs> but uh, but yeah. yeah. So that's that. Yep. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye. <laughs>